Alligator, bad. <laughs> no alligator for me right now. Wait till we're bigger, alligator. Just wait. Hi guys and welcome back. Today I am excited we are playing a new game. It is called Man Eater. We just got this today. It came out May 22nd, which was just a little over a week ago as of the recording of this video. I did have a few people in my live stream over on Twitch recommend this game to me. And at first I thought it was something I would not play because I don't play a whole lot of horror games and I thought it was kind of like that. I didn't realize, guys, that you play the shark in this game. I've only played a little bit of the tutorial, um, basically about 20 minutes. I'm going to play through that again for you guys so you guys can see it. I think this game is going to be a lot of fun. It's pretty smooth. It was developed and published by Tripwire Interactive. You can get it on Epic Games right now. You can also get it on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox console as well. We're going to go ahead, enough chit chat, and we're going to jump right into this game. Meanwhile, aboard the Cajun Queen, Pierre LeBlanc, known by his fellow anglers as Scaly Pete. Daddy hunted sharks. I hunt sharks. It's in the blood. There was somebody better at this, you'd be following down, yeah? Huh? Oh, people, we got a lot of wrong ideas about sharks. Scientists say we gotta coexist. Now, how you gonna coexist with that shark, huh? Shark just want to do one thing. That's kill you, eat you, and you out. What I do, I consider a sacred honor. Kill them all if I could. Too bad, and for 24 hours to a day. Shark spotted in Fatik Bay. Huh. Several deaths reported. Shark can be identified by rusty harpoon embedded in flank. Get the f out of my way. Got a job to do. This is an adult bull shark. Fast, fierce, and armed quite literally to the teeth, she has little to fear here in the Gulf. So nice little cutscene there, and yeah, this is exciting. Uh, move, use W to move, it's pretty the smooth. The muscular marvel confidently moves through its watery world. Use your mouse to look around, it's very smooth. Press hold or hold to bite and tap to bite. So we have to consume three preys. I see, good now. Auto targets for you. You can use tail whip to knock back and stun targets. So we grab a hold of it and then do tail whip. Oh, I see, I'm jumping ahead. So you can uh, just hit them with your tail as well. Exhibiting behavior more common to a thresher shark, this bull makes creative use of her powerful tail. Swim to the surface at normal speed. Okay, so we're gonna go up. This is very cool. This is, it's very smooth. I have to say the mechanics of the game is, for me, is it's pretty dang smooth. Uh, attack the great to escape, press your left mouse button. There we go, we got through. We're going out. We're going up. So we have to swim up to the surface. A shark fin is a sinister reminder to humans that the ocean remains a wild and untamed domain. Uh, you can jump into the air with your space uh, from Kingfin. Okay, so we have jump while we're Kingfin. Oh, that's the bull cool. performs an acrobatic feat worthy of an orca, cruelly imprisoned and put on display in a marine park stunt show. And you can dive with C. 
The big fish plunges to the ocean below. You can gain a burst of speed by lunging your shift key. The bull's key. speed is astounding for a large marine predator. Uh, you can lunge up towards the surface to breach out of the water. Very cool. A breaching shark is a rare and calorie intensive spectacle. Uh, whip shot for your prey. Hold on an object and press right to whip shot. Oh, okay, so they can do a more powerful attack. We gotta find another one. There we go. Okay, so now we have to kill actual people. <laughs> this is Terror of the Bay. Kill the beachgoers. We have to kill 10 people. Dun, 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 dun. So your tail can really whip him around quite far. Did I not kill him? There we go, ate him. Chomp chomp! Dinner time! You can also go on land for so long before you start to suffocate, I guess. Uh, we need one more. It must be emphasized that this sort of targeted violence is quite unusual for a shark. That shark needs a good whack on their nose. Go get him, chick. Okay, so this is boat combat. You can reach uh, to the decks by lunging, which is your shift key for while you're in the air for a second boost. Uh, armed humans will track you with laser sights. When targeted, use evade before they lock on to break their aim and avoid getting hit by Q and E. Uh, you can focus threat to focus on nearby enemies. Press F while above the water and hostile boats will be prioritized. If you want to go directly after the boat, I guess. Okay, defeat. How you doing there, Shark? So you can really wreck some havoc Time there. Is running out for this pelagic predator. Got it. You do heal when you eat things, it seems to be. 
Hey, we. She putting up a fight for sure. I tend not to use the Q and E for evade. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just awkward for me or I just don't care. <laughs> I don't know which it is. But what I'm doing seems to be working. you got this for me. Making a lot of splashes. We're going to eat everybody. We're not going to leave anybody behind. Okay, that's the end of that. Oh, oh. Then we get caught. Oh, she gonna make quite a metal piece. Got us some dinner coming, boys. And that's the end of us. <laughs> Let's get her up on deck, huh? On board the Cajun Queen, Scaly Pete looks over the catch of the day. Yeah, it's my daddy's iron, all right. But this ain't D Shark. Not the one I was looking for. How do you know? How I know? Not big enough. This look like a mega to you. Oh, oh look here. She's on for me. Hello! <laughs> Are you mama in there? Whoa! But well, why'd you do that? So I can identify her. Next time I see her, when I spear her. The tiny pup responds with an instinct for survival. You maybe want to turn off the camera. Oh, a hand! And us. Baby shark. Eat Pete's hand. Our legitimate quest is to eat his hand. A famous big game hunter once <laughs> posited that after an animal had tasted human flesh, it forsakes its natural prey in a deadly single-minded search for the most dangerous game. Okay, so we need to go to this uh, visit. Far uh, Fatic Bio, Bio Grotto is where we're near. We are tiny. Okay, there's a chest right here. Can I open this chest by? Okay, what was that? Uh, this shark is a sort of super scavenger. Okay, cash. Lacking in what may be called dietary Contain a large amount of nutrients, including mutagen. So listen for their sound. Press L to view log. Okay. Oh wow. There's a lot of information right here. Okay, Cradle to the Cave is the, what we're trying to do right now. We gotta visit the Fautic Bio Grotto. So we wanna collect those caches. There's also license plates. So I did hear about that there's a lot of collectibles in this game. I'm big with collecting, so this is gonna be fun, I think. Okay, so we have log, we have a map right here that tells you where you need to be. Can you mark things? Yeah, you can. Uh, do the waypoint and then there's evolutions okay so this is how you upgrade your shark this is i like uh so you can you have to collect these things to gain xp so you kind of want to go around eating things and exploring you see something glowing in the water over there uh what is that required elder oh okay so that must be to go into a new area maybe uh, so we have to yeah we have to break required elder okay so we're not an elder we baby we baby. Okay, what's this? So it's got, it looks like a sign. Okay. 
poor planning. Remember, when planning a cemetery, try to avoid high-risk coastal areas. Oh, okay. Tourists love good a good landmark. Find them all to earn rewards. Oh, I see. Landmarks. So there's ten landmarks. We've just found one. So let's take a look for a second here um, under evolution. So we, you definitely want to, that's given us some XP. Collect to gain XP. I see, they give you different XPs. So we've got 400 of the, looks like DNA strand, and then 560 of the yellow drops, 480 crystals, and only 100 of the green. Okay, what is this? Oh, I don't think I want to go. Do I want to go in there? Oh, there we go. Oh, I guess this the is where we wanted to be. To the for refuge and quiet Ooh. This is pretty. Okay, so <laughs> there's so much going on. Press I to open the evolution panel while in the grotto. And then there was, I think it was my map key. Um... So we've got the landmarks. Um, I see it shows you where you need to go next and what you've completed. Nutrients are resources gained by eating wildlife, humans, destroying boats, and completing quests. Nutrients increase your level and upgrade your evolutions. All right. So we need to eat wildlife and humans and destroy boats and quests. So lots to do. A lot more than I thought. Evolutions are mutations that grant you amazing powers such as bone armor, poison glands, or bioelectric organs. You earn evolutions by gaining infamy ranks, completing landmark quests, and killing apex predators. To equip evolutions, return to the grotto and press I. You can spend nutrients to upgrade your evolutions. So it sounds like you can only do it here in the grotto. So you use your sonai bar hitting R. And it'll show you potential prey. Not in here, because this is like my safe haven. So we will go back out. It looks like this uh, saves automatically. So let's use our sonar see what's around us. Okay, so it picked up 67 meters away something. It looks like a license plate, maybe? Okay. I didn't get it. <laughs> you have limited time uh, to breathe on land before you start suffocating. Collectibles are... Collect all license plates scattered throughout each region to earn rewards. Okay, so it looks like the license plates, there's another one, um, is above land. So you've got to be kind of quick because you do suffocate when you've been out of water for so long. Makes sense. Makes total sense. Okay, so how do I get up there? By jumping? I don't know that we can get that one. Uh, maybe a breach and jump? I don't think that... Uh we can get this one yet. Let's try though. So we're gonna dive down. And then we can go up. No, we too little. <laughs> we too little. So that one we can't get. It's, yeah, we are far too little for that one. Wildlife combat. Wildlife can be hostile. Evade to dodge their attacks. When you see, see the wildlife glow, they are vulnerable. Attack while they are vulnerable to stun them. Press Q and E to evade. If you are the same size or larger than a combative wildlife when they are vulnerable, you can thrash them to maintain control. Hold left mouse button with an object in your mouth and then wiggle to thrash. Okay. You can focus threat to focus on nearby enemies. Press F while underwater and hostile wildlife and divers will be prioritized. Okay. So... Thrash. Oh, okay. All right. So we got that guy. Did we? Yep. We got 790 now of that DNA. It looks like we've got a cache over here. We're level two. The rapacious rover is always swimming, searching. Oh, there's an alligator over there. I bet they're the hostile towards us. Their defining trait. I think that alligator's trying to come for us. I don't know that we would survive that alligator. 
Kill this these elite animal and human threats to earn rewards. Oh boy. What have we got ourselves into? is a freshwater fish commonly found throughout the Great Lakes region, so I have no idea what it's doing here. Complete story quest unlock unlocks a like side quest. So if we, we, okay, I see. So we need to complete this uh, to unlock others. That makes sense. Up here is another one of those reds. Oh, we got level three, and I think we just got bigger. Let's look at our map. Okay, so it looks... Oh, I see. In the area, when you swim through, uh, it uncovers things. So we've got cash here and a cash here. I see it rewards you with these things. We're right here. Let's get this one real quick. Also, there's a landmark, it looks like. Cool. No one can tell what may be found in a shark's stomach. It's truly the ocean's garbage can. It's a landmark. I have one of those new pop-up tub stoppers at home. And let me tell you, those things are just a magnet for hair and debris. The grotto is a discoverable location in each region where your shark is safe. These locations are fast travel points, save locations. You can only save in these grottos. Ah, I see. Fast travel. Let's do that real quick. Okay, Even that's cool. Even for sharks, it's important to create personal time for sober self-reflection. <laughs> I like that. Sober self-reflection. Okay, so uh, let's go here. We can see what we can unlock. What is this? Unlock. Okay, so these aren't unlocked yet. We still don't have those we can upgrade the sonar however advanced sonar 2000 uh this evolve evolution improves the range cooldown and sensitivity or sonar yes we'll upgrade it since that's about the only thing we can upgrade right now wow it takes eight thousand more uh so we need to kill 10 catfish it says uh so we'll go to this area there's an alligator oh gosh i don't think that we can take this alligator it looks like he's a level eight Let's see. Yikes. Yeah, I think the alligator is going to be too difficult. Yeah, he just tossed us out like nothing. Alligator, bad. No alligator for me right now. Wait till we're bigger, alligator. Just wait. Here's another cache. The bull shark is able to attain larger maximal sizes through selective feeding. <gasps> oh, he came out of nowhere. Stone predators has led to a super abundance level four of reached which is just fine by local bully rosie the alligator yeah the shark is now a team and we should expect much angst ennui and poor decision making Okay, so we are now a teen. New ability, Tail Whip. Ability upgrades, breach lunge, air lunge, and lung capacity. Definitely the lung capacity I want. So we're definitely bigger now. Still haven't unlocked any of this stuff to evolve, apparently. We can't upgrade our sonar yet because we need more of the red DNAs. We will have to destroy this alligator eventually. Maybe we can do it at now as a teen. I'm gonna go back to this cache and there's happens to be an alligator right next to it. The 
predatory scavenger is often quite content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor. The force of a shark's tail can rupture swim bladders and break spines. We are half our life gone. Oh, he got me. Ooh, level five. Someone should have taken a gun safety class. We almost got him. Guys, we just killed our first alligator. I think this is the one we have to actually kill to get credit for. And here is another one of those mud kips that, or mud things that we've been killing. That's been not, I mean, they've been fairly easy. I, this is probably going to be uh, harder because I see he's a level five. <laughs> or maybe not. I did get a hold of him and was able to thrash him. So he's one of the ones we have to kill. See the little cog thing or whatever icon above him? Complete Midwest Zest. So we did kill that. Okay, I'm actually, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode here. This game is a lot of fun. If you like to collect things and um, explore, that's basically what this is, at least here in the beginning stages. Is it worth $40? I paid 30. I would say it's worth the $30, $40. Mm, I guess I have to play it a little bit more to give an, a definite decision on that. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, I would appreciate it if you did so. That would help me out and the channel. And if you are subscribed, make sure that you have hit that bell to get notified whenever I have a video go up. So I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.